Do you recognize this kanji? Mukashi. Perfect. How about this one? Motsu. Perfect. Oh, can you read the sentence? Mukashi kon wa dorobo datta. What does that mean? Um, long ago, Khan was a thief. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Khan wa doka o mutta. Motta. Um, Khan holding coins. Yes, Khan had some coins on him. He held coins. Khan has some Hi. Do you happen to know this word? A little bit more rare. It's either kin or kane. Hi. In this case, it's kane. This is the word kane mochi, which is to hold gold, or in other words, to be rich. To be rich. Um, this is a noun. Kane mochi. Kane mochi. Hi. Daro. It's something we've probably seen before. It means um probably or um I wonder. Depending on the context. Daro have the same meaning as de show. Yes. They're um probably the same word, just kind of said differently. Mm. Um so let's go read the sentence. So no majutsushi wa. Kane mochi daro. This magician is rich, isn't he? Yep. He's probably so it, it can be, isn't he, depending on the context. It could be also he's probably rich, or I wonder if he's rich. All of those are good translations. And it can mm. mean either of those depending on the context. So there's no context here. So all three of those things, including the first one you did, which isn't it, are possible um translations. Right. Um, do you happen to know this guy? Um Shikoshi. Shikoshi. Yep, Shikoshi, which is a little bit. So it's a small amount. Let's go read this then. Um Mukashi Shikoshi Do Kao Um Nunda. Nusunda. I normally have the reading there. Hi. So this means long ago he probably did what? Um Musunda? Uh nu. Wait. Nusunda. Right. I did draw mu there. I did that twice today. Nusunda. Daro. Long ago he stole a little bit of coins. Yeah. Long ago, he stole a small amount of coins. Perfect. And let's go read our line from the book. Mukashi wa mo sukoshi kane machi datta no daro. Hi, is it kane machi or how else could this possibly be pronounced? Kane machi. It's actually mochi. Kane Sorry. Mochi. Hi. Kane mochi datta. No, daro. Isn't it so? I wonder. So I would say, isn't it would be a bad translation in this case because the main character isn't talking to anybody. He's thinking in his brain this information. So probably, or I wonder, would both be great um, translations in this context. So whichever one you'd prefer. Probably. Okay. So Khan is thinking. Uh, Neburi is probably a, a long time ago, he probably had a bit of coins. Yes, he probably was a little rich a while ago, just a by little a little bit, bit though, because he's wearing like a waistcoat and this, he has his whole ensemble on, and the waistcoat itself is also like embroidered, like it's kind of nice. However, they're all worn down, so he has nice clothing, but they're old. So he probably had money in the past when he bought that clothing, but not really right now to replace it. Um, so last time this character was read as kane. Now it's read as kin. Do you know what this word is? Kin iro meaning gold. 
Yes. Gold color. Gold color. Perfect. Do you know what tateru meant? Tateru. Kai kakeru. Tateru is to stand up. Yes, to make to set something up. set up. Yes. And kakeru, in this context, I would say is to rest something on something, to put something on something, kind of that kind of meaning. So together, these can go together to mean to lean something up against something. How do you think we could combine these two words? To lean to lean against something. Hi. So to tate kakeru. Tate kakeru. Hi. Tate kakeru is exactly what it is. To lean something against something. Basically, in order to make it stand up, because it can't stand up on its own. Okay, so I taught you that kara, the mean that means from, can only be used with nouns. This isn't totally true. Um, kara, that which means from, can also go after something else. But first, can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Mukashi kara kon wa dorobo datta. So it says from, from the long past. ago. Yeah. From the past, Kong was a thief. Probably better with the dot Kong here. Kong is still a thief since long ago. Is a thief. Probably better. If you do dot that, it kind of insinuates like long, long ago, Kong was a thief. Hai. Maybe he's not anymore. But yeah, hi. Okay, so we have the verb tatekakita, which is to lean something against something. How would you say to lean the golden staff against the table? Table o no table ni kin iro no tsue o atte kaketa. Perfect. Nice. So the next thing we can use kata that still has a from meaning is te form. So it's very important to know it's not te do. So sometimes you'll see te do, which you'll have a do right here. That's not this. It's only te form directly touching kata. In this case, it has the from meaning, kind of meaning after. After. After the act. Yes. Can you read the sentence for me? Kin iro no tsue o nusunde kara kane motsu. Kane mochi ni natta. Hi. So after I stole the golden staff, I became rich. Yeah. So how would I... you say after setting his staff against the table, he continued and continued his tujukeru. There was a word from a little bit ago. Table ni tsue o tatte kake Kara Suzukeru. Hi. Suzuketa. Suzuketa. Perfect. Yep. Nice. So after he leaned the staff against the table, he continued. Okay. Our next word. Oops. Our next word is e. This kanji can be read as something else and have a totally different meaning. But when it's pronounced as e, it means the handle area of something. So right here is a tsue, whose e is made out of ki niro, which is gold. As, so yeah, e is handle. So let's go read our line from the book. Neburi wa kin iro no e no tsuita. Tsue o teburu ni Tate kakete kara suzuketa. Right. So particles help a lot with figuring out um, where things go. Okay, so. Neburi leans after leaning his um, gold plated handle 
cane against the table. Continue. Yes. Uh, this one right here, you got it perfect, but it just sounded kind of funny in English. So he has a cane that has a handle that is plated in gold. So the cane itself is not gold, only the handle is. That's why it's kinu no e. So that's the golden handle that is attached to the um, staff. Yeah, perfect. Right. Um, do, 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 do. I felt like you knew all that kanji pretty well, so I'm skipping that. Um, do you know how to read this word? Nakami or chumi? Yep, nakami. This is content. Me on its own can kind of mean oneself or body, depending on the context. We're going to see it meaning oneself pretty soon. So I just wanted to be like, hey, remember that word? Um, do you know how to read this word? Yep. Yep, yep. Perfect. House. What do you think ie nashi means? Ie nashi. So it's ie nai. Yes. Dropping the e and replace with shi. Uh, so ie nashi just means to not have a house. Like there's none. Nashi. Uh, there's is no the continuous house. form of nai? I don't know. I think nashi is a thing on its own. I see. I, th I think it has this kind of. Uh, do you know what samui means? Samui, cold. Hi, Specifically, cold, cold weather. Hi. What does this word say? I mean, full sentence, whatever phrase. Ie nashi no mi. Hi. Meaning a person without a, ha a home. Yes, exactly. A person a without a home. Do you recognize this kanji? Samui. Yep, Samui. Cold. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Samui ame ga furu. What does that mean? Cold rain falls. Perfect. Our next word is chudai. This means like hard, but like in like life was hard. Or this is like a hard thing. Like it's emotionally hard. So it's not like this is like a hard game unless like you're crying kind of. Like, oh, so it's today. not difficult it's yeah. painful hard exactly painful hard um what does it say samui yoru wa surai a cold night is uh it's uh it's it's <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Painful it works good too. Right. Uh, painful uh -huh. probably actually worked better. That was, that was a good Sorry. one you did earlier. Painful. Yeah, painful. It's harsh. Harsh maybe might work. Harsh. 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 Yes. Nice. Yeah, harsh. <laughs> uh, sazo is a way to say surely. So it's kind of like kito, but not as aggressive. Sazo. Surely that's true. Um. So. How would you say that um, a cold night is surely harsh for Khan, probably? It's surely hard. Sato Khan ga no. That's a good guess. Sato Khan o tsurai daro. Good guess as well. It's actually ni. So it's toward mm. Khan. Uh, a cold night is surely harsh. So yeah, it takes me in this case so you kind of right. think about it as like modifying the verb of saying what how harsh is harsh toward con in a con like way harsh harshness <laughs> right so this would insinuate it might not be today to other people this specific sentence right. um so daro plus e adjective can be slurred with as a ka so, tsurai daro can turn into tsurakaro. However, this is not really said in modern Japanese anymore. Um, this is this is kind of old manny like So, kind of can guess who's going to be saying tsurai karo. It's going to be an old man. See, karo. Uh, who do you think is going to be saying this sentence then? Knowing there's karo in here. It's neburi. So, so. So, what does neburi say? He say... Omae no yo na 
家なしの身にこんな寒い雨の夜はさぞすらかろう。He's saying, for someone like you who are without home, in this、um, night, in this rainy, cold, rainy night, as this,、uh, this, he's saying this. Sazo,、yep. um, uh, surely, Surakaro, you must be suffering.、Yes. It must be hard for you. It must be hard for you. So, isn't it hard? So, this right here is a good time for the isn't it translation right here because he's talking to somebody.、Uh, so, that's a really good example, like what you originally were like that old man.、Uh, yeah, so isn't it hard? Isn't it harsh to be in a cold night? Okay. Um, can、It、you、is. read the sentence for me? <laughs> so, so. Feed me some more. <laughs> more food. Hi, on a guy's show. Samui ame no yoru wa surai to omota. What does that mean? The phrase say, in the rainy night, in the cold rainy night,、um, it would. Okay, there's no subject here, so it it was thought、right. to be a it thought to be、uh, painful in this cold rainy night. Hi, so this right here says, um, I have I I a lot of times when the subject's not there, kind of assume it's I with translating things. It could be someone else, but a general without any context is translated as I because I is lots of time is avoided in Japanese. It feels a little bit self entitled to have I in there twenty times. Unless you are confused. So I, I thought、um, cold, rainy nights are harsh. Right? So, so I thought, quotation marks, cold, rainy nights、Hi. equal harshness. Hi. Hi.、Um, do you know what daremo means? Daremo. Anyone. Dare? Yes, anyone or no one. Can you read the sentence for me? No one. Daremo unazu ga. Nakata. Hi. Unazuga is the Unazuka word you taught、nakata. me, meaning. Yes. To nod. Yes.、Unazu. Do not nod. Yes. No,、Did、Unazu was、nod. part of the. Yes. It's Unazuku. Unazuku. So now it's changed to the as. Right. Kanakata, the negative past form. Yes. Okay. So who didn't nod?、Mm. Daremo, 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 no one. Yes, no, no one, one nodded. nodded. Perfect. No, no one, one nodded. nodded. Nice. So, our next thing is nitote. Nitote is a way to kind of like specify a person, I mean, like for this person, but it's normally referring like based off of their like ability or their emotional like connection to something. Not like, I did this for you. It's, it's not really that bad. It's like this. Toward this person, they feel like this kind of emotion. For example, nebori ni tote mado saki wa taisetsu da means that basically for nebori, his magical stone is precious. Precious. So,、yeah. hey. so how would you say、Hai、for、setsu. thieves, cold nights are hard? Dorobo ni yo. Samui no yoruwa. And harsh is、uh, surai. Okay. Surai. Hi. So basically perfect. You just kind of pronounce it to here rather than te, but you kind of knew it was te. And then you added a no here, which you really don't need because e kind of just attaches to things with e. Oh, I forgot. It's an adjective there. It is.、Okay. It's an adjective. So, yes. What did I? So, perfect. Yep. Yeah. So, for I, thieves. I, 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 I had that leftover bit from Samui no Ameno, and it kind、yeah. of still s t i c k in my brain. My brain is not very. <laughs> lot, <laughs> It's not functioning well at the moment. <laughs> Hi.、Um, so, something I wanted to do that's really interesting in Japanese rather than saying daremo. 
if you want to add tote, ni tote, the mo moves all the way to the end. So dare ni tote mo means for everyone or for no one. So the mo flies all the way to the end when we add ni tote. So that's a little bit confusing. Hi, it got sandwich. Hi. And this right here is going to be our last sentence of the day. But I got to return on my fan. So it's like, I have to turn off my computer. Um, let's go read the sentence. Samui ame no yoru wa dare ni totte mo tsurai to omotta ga unazui te oita. I need a reminder on Hai. oita. Hi, oita is comes from oku, which means basically to do in advance. But specifically, it basically means I should do something or I do this for some kind of purpose. So he's nodding so that he gets food, basically, <laughs> is why they're doing that. So they could have just said unazuite ita, but the oku is say, basically showing his intent right here, saying he's nodding here for a purpose in order Hai. to get something from this. Hi. So it said here that Khan nodded. Hi. Um, I I would start here with but, the mota. Yes. So, um, suraito mota. Um, in a cold rainy night. So I would start with a mota because the subject has been dropped. This wa is part of the quotation marks. So the, the wa mark. for a mo is either going to be I or kan, depending on how you want to translate this. If the book's in third I... person or first person. So kan thought. Hi. Um, tsurai. The cold rainy night uh, for anyone would be harsh. Exactly. But he nodded yes so because nobody was like oh for you who has no home do you find this night to be especially harsh and then he goes like well i feel like it would be harsh for anybody i mean it's cold but sure i'll nod anyway please please give me the food <laughs> he said Chotto. he said it's a little bit harsh <laughs> <Also>. <laughs> yep and that is where we're going to stop for the day. Any questions before we go?